International Journal of Health Policy and Management Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Hello, my name is Kenneth Munge from the Kemri Wellcome Trust Research Program in Nairobi, Kenya. I am a member of the Health Economics Research Unit, which is examining pathways to universal health coverage in Kenya by focusing on health systems research, the examination of health financing and health governance. The way funds are managed is important to the attainment of universal health coverage and that's what makes purchasing of health services so important. Purchasing is one of the health financing functions along with resource generation and pooling. It is a process by which pooled funds are paid to health service providers in order to deliver interventions. It involves three actions. First, choosing the services and interventions to be purchased. Second, choosing service providers. And third, designing the contracts and methods of payments between the purchasers and providers. Purchasing can be passive or strategic. Strategic purchasing involves a continuous search for the best ways to maximize health system performance by deciding which intervention should be purchased, how, and from what providers. While passive purchasing implies following a predetermined budget or simply paying bills when they're presented. There are three main purchases of healthcare in Kenya. First, the government at national and county level. Second, private and community-based health insurance schemes. And finally, Kenya's social health insurer, the National Hospital Insurance Fund. The NHIF is central to reforms towards attaining universal health coverage in Kenya. Many other low and middle income countries are pursuing universal health coverage using similar public contributory health insurance mechanisms, which makes our findings relevant to a wider audience. We used a conceptual framework suggested by Figuera Zetal and expanded on by the Responsive and Resilient Health Systems Consortium. This framework identifies three principal agent relationships between the government and purchaser, the purchaser and provider, and the citizen and purchaser. It specifies actions that should be undertaken to achieve strategic purchasing. So we examined the purchasing practices of the NHIF and compared them with this theoretical ideal to identify policy and practice gaps. We employed a qualitative case study approach with the NHIF as a study case. Data were collected through in-depth interviews and document reviews between April 2014 and May 2015. We found that regulatory and policy framework for strategic purchasing in Kenya was weak and there were no clear accountability mechanisms between the NHIF and the Ministry of Health. In fact, accountability mechanisms as, uh, that existed emphasized financial performance over other aspects of purchasing including quality and efficiency. The process for contracting, monitoring and paying providers do not promote equity, quality or efficiency. This was in part due to the geographical distribution of providers who were lacking in certain areas, but also due to limited capacity with the NHIF to monitor and these providers. In the development of the benefit package, there were some mechanisms for assessing the needs, preferences and values of beneficiaries, but where they did exist, they didn't perform well, and the awareness of these channels to beneficiaries was limited. The key policy recommendation of our finding was that the MOH, the Ministry of Health, needs to embrace its stewardship role in the health sector and guide the development of a policy and regulatory framework for strategic purchasing practices. We also recommend that the NHIF benefit package be examined to ascertain whether it really is person-centered and evidence-based. The NHIF also needs to take urgent measures to examine its quality assurance mechanisms and in particular consider the incentives generated by the mix of provider payment mechanisms, monitoring capabilities and contractual requirements. Thank you.